Hey guys, it's Timmy. Actually on Kooky. I'm not sure she wants me to be on there, but there's Pokey right there. When they're eating on the hay, it's not really a big deal to be on the back, but... I'm enjoying this night, and I wanted to make this video real quick. I just got done with the other, and... Prayed for a long time. I really felt like I could continue praying. I don't know, my heart's heavy for France and Turkey. Turkey's got the uprising going on. The coup. The military's taking over the state. Uh, I wonder how this plays in to the ISIS thing. It doesn't really matter. I mean, in a way it does matter, but in one way it doesn't. These things are going to happen, but my heart's heavy for Turkey. Those people are just getting taken for a ride. I actually think I have a friend who's in Turkey right now who just went over there. She hadn't been there in a few years, but she... I think taught for a year over there and now she's there now. Perfect timing, right? Um, and then France, of course, that's messed up. There's a lot of things going on in the world and these are all just um, implications of things to come. But in this world that's got so many bad things going on, I mean, we've got love. Pure, true, real love. Not just in God, but in Look at these horses, man. If you can see them eating the way that they're eating, it's beautiful. It's uh, it's late at night. They've been eating for a long time. Like they, If we could all eat the Word of God the way that these guys are eating hay, I mean, give me a break. We'd, it'd be like game over for the bad guys. But yeah, exactly, Kooky. Yeah. But these guys would realize that it's... Um, they're going to lose the war, but they feel like they might be winning these battles. It's sad. I think it's sad. Um, I got some tobacco to feed to the donkeys that Phyllis gave me. And I got this, like, corn cob maple pipe or whatever that my friend um, from Columbia gave me. And it's amazing. Like, if you just focus on God, He'll bring you so many different confirmations and symbols. You know? This is the first video I've ever made from the back of the horse. I thought about doing it a million times. I haven't been on her back a million times, but no bit, no bridle, no saddle, and I don't care. And I'm not riding her. Uh, she's letting me ride on her. I don't tell her what I want to do. She does what she wants, and I'm just here for the ride. It's really a lot like my relationship with God, you know? Um, and I appreciate Cookie and Pokey. Uh, I appreciate Louie who gave me the, the pipe. I mean, I'm not a big smoker, but uh, when Phyllis gave me the tobacco, and she told me the donkeys eat tobacco, I thought that was nuts. And she explained it. And she's a widow, so her husband used to have the tobacco to smoke in his old old school pipe. I always like Popeye's pipes. Now, I'm not like condoning people smoking, but I've had somebody ask me recently. The best way I could answer it is weed. You know, if it's good for pain, if it's good for the oil to fight cancer and all that stuff. I'm not 100% opposed to it. I used to be very um, pro-pot before it was cool. Maybe, you know, 20 years after before, before it was cool. But either way, like, I'm second generation hippie kind of. And I appreciate pot, but at the same time, like, the Bible says to be sober and to be vigilant. Well, for a normal person with normal capabilities... That works. Or for someone who has a physical condition of ailment, someone who has a chronic pain, someone who has a diabetes, someone who has a glycoma, and you could go down a whole, whole laundry list of these issues. If you got these issues, who am I to tell you what you can and can't do? The Bible says it's not what goes in a mouth that defiles a man or woman, but what comes out. Uh, that's pretty important to me. The Bible says uh, that we should be sober and some people would make the argument that's in direct relation to alcohol only. I've got very personal experiences with alcohol making you not sober and paying the price for it. Um, but then being vigilant also in conjunction with being sober. You know, how quick in response time are you when you're blazed or when you're high on weed? I, I don't know. It depends. It's different for every individual. And there is a desensitization process. There's an ability to build up an immunity. 
Some would say it's a gateway or a gateway drug or a actual gateway to uh, spiritual demonics. It's a very tough question. Um, it's a tough question. So I would say follow the Holy Spirit and follow your convictions. But know that your body is a temple. And, uh, you know, the pharmakeia, for those that don't know, the word pharmaceutical gets its root word from Greek pharmakeia. Pharmakeia is the word for drugs, specifically drugs. And as far as I've been a child, drugs have never been connotated as a good thing, drugs are always bad. Drugs are bad, okay? Uh, you know, so if, if drugs are bad, the sec one of the uh, other secondary definitions of pharmakia. Ooh yeah, let's walk, cookie, let's get, get. Let's go. <laughs> she looked like she wanted to walk off for a minute. I was ready to go with her. Um, but yeah, pharmakeia in Greek, one of the secondary meanings is uh, sorcery. Literally, sorcery. The Bible says in the Old Testament and the New Testament, don't practice sorcery. You want to be one of those sorcerers? You see fantasy movies all the time. Cookie. Oh, you can't see that, but that's awesome. She's scratching. I'll scratch for her if she'll let me. Oh, cookie. Cookie. Uh, sorcery, yeah, you don't want to do that, man. Like Gandalf was good, but think about it, he was gray. What's gray? Is gray good? No, it's half black, it's half white. Well, I shouldn't say half and half, technically, it's not even half. A little bit of black and white goes a long way. I would say that. Uh, but pharmaceutical companies, I mean, they're one of the biggest industries and they're tied directly to the oil companies. Uh, it's nuts if you actually want to do some research about pharmakeia and sorcery and the pharmaceutical companies And I'm not here to doom and gloom you. I'm just saying um, Some of the damage that the pharmaceuticals can do is horrible and if you have natural options available to you Maybe that's better, you know, so I say to each their own and everything in moderation And that's a hard thing because usually things are not done moderately usually things are taken advantage of you smoke a little pot, not, big, not a big deal in my opinion, but a little bit of pot turns into a little more pot, turns into a lot of pot, turns into a lifestyle. Next thing you know, you're pothead. I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Actually had t-shirts made for it, so uh, that's an interesting concept to consider. I would just say that, so there's a... You know, everybody, I think it's in Timothy, I think it's in 2 Timothy, everybody works out their own salvation with fear and trembling before God. God will have you um, work your own salvation now. Now, Jesus is what brings you salvation, but how do you um, act after you're saved? How do you behave after that? How do you grow your relationship with Him? You know, and I think it's a matter of convictions. The Holy Spirit will come and convict you of the things that you know better. Now, we all have a conscience. And God's impressed the law on the hearts of men and women, even when they're not saved. But once you get saved, you're held to a higher standard. And once you have that higher standard, then what? You know, I got a pipe with a little tobacco in it that was given to me. Everything's been a gift. And when I get a gift, I think of it from God. Uh, I mentioned earlier this morning about gifts, and you have to be careful. But this was a gift to give to the, the donkeys. And it's a gift that I can enjoy. And it reminds me of the native culture, which is why I'm even on the back of the horse right now, anyway. I mean, that's why I'm on here. Giddy up. I want to ride, but she, she's not going to ride unless she wants to. She's not going to go anywhere unless she wants to. And I'll tell you, Cookie's very motivated by food. So she'll sit here and eat all night long. And I would probably be happy to just sit here all night long, but I'm not going to sit here all night long. We're in nine minutes in. I'll probably close out here in a minute or two, but... <sighs> I've had a, a few people ask me about weed and what my thought about weeds were. Uh, or about smoking weed and all that, right? It's being legal, man-made it illegal. I had a thought, and I brought it up on the Gary Wayne, on the D13 show where we interviewed Gary Wayne, but I, I'm pretty sure I brought it up on there. I've thought about it for a long time, but what if... Uh, you got cannabis sativa and you got cannabis indica. The indica and sativas are the two lines that have THC. 
and then you got hemp which is not you know you're not gonna get high off of hemp but hemp can be used for a million different good things you can make oil right oil as far as I know I mean I'm I'm not as privy as I used to be once I quit smoking as much um, you know I, I used to be in a group I've got a video on the day to 420 in the prayer call go watch it if you want to know more about my stance on it but what's weird is what if the Nephilim after the flood genetically recreated um, weed like what if hemp was God's creation and sativa and indica were the two genetic components that the fallen angels brought to the mix just a thought that I had because I was like um, you know be sober and be vigilant how can you be sober if your mind isn't 100% on par some people function 100% on weed though so I've, I've I've been that guy before so it's hard for me to, to go with everybody's uh yeah cookie it's hard for me to go with everybody's assertions and I think you have to have your own experience first but I can say firsthand it's not what it used to be it's not the same as it used to be and I do believe that these things can move you into a bad direction but it's it's really a rock and a hard place is it a medical thing that can be used for goodness in some aspects yes and in other aspects, I think that's just an excuse to justify and rationalize. But is something natural better than something man-made and synthetic? I would say yes. And when you add in sorcery into the mix, okay, well, do you want herbal sorcery or do you want genetically, uh, or not even genetically, um, do you want man-made chemical created sorcery? And you don't want either sorcery, but you got something in nature that exists and you got something that man recreates from nature when you could just get it from nature direct it makes zero sense uh, I've got a couple documentaries and a couple videos that talk about how the medical system has changed and that's where it becomes interesting because it was never meant to be what we have nowadays I'll say that I mean other than the devil wanted it that way and the people who have a love for money and a root of evil um, so yeah I would just say man to each their own uh, God will hold you accountable. You'll know in your heart of hearts and in your spirit if you're feeling convicted or guilty. That might be an indicator that maybe you should look for a different path. That's what I would say. Um, if you hold it before your relationship with God, it's an idol. And if you spend more time with those things than you do with, um, you know, with what's good and right, you know, those might be part of that process, but don't give me the spiritual mumbo-jumbo about it brings you closer to God, because I think that's BS. Now, I will say that it does bridge the, um, the social gap between older folks and younger folks. Um, but that's a little bit different. <laughs> that's actually quite a bit different um, than to say, well, yeah, it opens my mind spiritually, because I think, what is, it, what is it opening your mind to? Might be entities, and that's scary, so... <sighs> All right, 13 minutes plus blah, 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 blah. Um, I just feel this is an important topic to discuss because I know a lot of people that smoke weed. I've smoked weed. I was actually in a group that said I would never live life without smoking weed once I started smoking it. So I used to be like the epitome of pot, what a pothead is. Um, but nowadays it's a lot different. It's legal in some places. What do you do when it's legal? Well, if it's legal, that's okay, right? Well, did man make it legal or illegal? What does God have to say about it? I had a guy who was in, um... Oh, he's in some weird stuff. He was from the country of Belize. You better believe it. Uh, he was from Belize, and he would say that, from a Bob Marley standpoint, that it was a way to worship God, was to smoke weed. And, um, it talks about flax seed or something like that. I mean, like, there's a couple scriptures he pulled out, and I was just like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. But I could see where he was coming from. At the same time, like, but he was taking the scripture out of context. Um, it, it just, man, I don't know. I don't want to, I'm not casting judgment, or I wouldn't throw a stone at anybody else, but there's a lot worse things that you can do with your body and with your time and with your attention than weed. But at the same time, it might be a gateway. Not a gateway drug to other drugs, but it might be a gateway to something else. So I would just say... All things in moderation. Read the book of Proverbs and Ecclesiastes and see what Solomon says. Yeah. Yeah, Cookie. See, Cookie agrees. And she endorses my message. <laughs> I would listen to what Solomon has to say and see in there where you can fit in. 
I get in where you fit in. That's what I would say. Uh, I'm not pro weed. I'm not anti weed. I would say I'm open to potential one way or the other, but I know it's done a damaging thing in my life and it held me back quite a bit. It didn't necessarily make me lazy, but it made me think I wasn't lazy when I was being non-proactive. That might be the best way to say it. So, um, yeah, so that's that. I'm going to sit here and um, I'm going to smoke my little tobacco, old school, native style. And I'm going to be giving thanks and glory to God for this experience. And, uh, yeah, so I'm about to have my peace for the weekend. Yeah, Cookie, let's go. Let's get it, Cookie. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I guess that's as far as she wanted to go, so. Ooh, I think she heard me. Man, this is so cool. She's going to scratch her head on the post, or I don't know. This is my excitement, and I'm going to go now, so. Y'all don't get to experience everything I get to hang out with. Alright, love you guys. Bye.